Hey guys, here playing as a harpsichord butcher shop, and we're gonna just kill some noises. It's gonna be a good time. So, with this kind of opening, you have two options. You can just score breaking news out of hand, or you can money and ice your HQ. The safe play is usually to money and ice your HQ, because what that does is ensure that you can stop a Lamprey. It ensures that they're not gonna come with an imp and mess your combo up too early. What is happening? Wasteland. Okay. Two influence. First time you trash one of your installed cards, each turn you get a dollar. So some double dipping maybe. If you clone ship on the corpse turn, you get a dollar. It's kind of fun. You pop a shard, you get a dollar. Pop your peddler, you get a dollar. Okay. Not the worst card in the world. But I have really questioned if that's worth two influence and noise and you can play other fantastic cards that definitely are worth it. So we didn't end up finding ourselves any kind of agenda here. Or not agenda, but ice for this Jackson. So what that means is we're going to have to hope there's no... Oh, he's going to pop his peddler, drug dealer. Okay. Interesting stuff. So we got Armage co-busting and didn't take Imp. I think that's probably his first mistake. Imp is probably the single best card against Butcher Shop. You absolutely want to get Imp, and you want to Imp everything. Uh, because all these cards, you can interact with them by Imping them, and then they go away, and great, it's great. Uh, the fact that you did not get Imp is very... could be very fatal very soon. Had he held his peddler, I would actually have been worried about this breaking news getting getting stopped by a clot. But he popped drug dealer, so we didn't have to worry about that. So let's see now how much this wasteland does. My guess is it's going to be way worse than Lucky Find. Lucky Find, you're going to be up six right away. This card, you got to take it eight times before you're up six, and that's a big gap. It's really hard for a card that just makes you money to compete with uh, Lucky Find. And I don't think this is going to cut it, but we'll see. Never know if you don't try, right? So, so far he's got, what, one trigger on it? From the Street Peddler? Interesting. Oh man, kill everywhere. Sadly, we can't even punish this. Uh, let's just draw a game. We need to find something good. Let's keep two traffics. Uh, I don't even want this necessarily. I, I want an agenda, but not necessarily that one. If we can do Raven Remote. Put like an Astro or 15 minutes or the other breaking news in there. Or even like Kitty Cat is pretty good with the Data Raven. I think we're going to want to keep three kill pieces in case he has a. Um, I've had worse in his hand, which he certainly could have. So we got two mid-seasons that are pretty great in this matchup, especially with the drug dealer, he's, he's really losing a lot of money off that. He's going to have a hard time competing financially with us. So if we draw mid-seasons, we're in great shape. If we don't, things are not looking that great. Oh, he's going to run Archives. Big mistake, he can't steal, so we're going to get $5 for free. And he cannot take this Exploded Blue, so he knows it's there. Mid-seasons? Are you a mid-seasons? None of you are mid-seasons. Well, that sucks. Uh, we don't need any more money. We'll throw both of those out. The pop-up, at least we can bluff it being a decent ice. So, Wasteland Dollar up to two now. DDoS. Interesting. It's going to get him up to five. That's pretty good. So 
So is he on siphon with that normally? I don't know what's happening. I guess he gets to trigger Wasteland off the DDoS. Did it work properly? Can't tell from the log, but yeah, I think it did. Let me know in the video if it's if it's bugged. It taps, so I think it's working properly. Mid seasons, no mid seasons. Oh man, well that sucks. Imp hits news team, but luckily he's gonna see this news team as well and take a minus one. So that buys us a little more breathing room. It means he won't win off an Astro. Yeah, you gotta take the minus one point. Complete suicide, do anything else. He has his imp online, which is exactly what he needs. These pops I'm not so sure of. The thing is, a lot of the time, you don't need the money too much. Like a quandary would be a little better. He's not scared. He's always just very YOLO. That's the way to be, typically. I mean, he can't remove a Gutenberg tag, so that's a bit sketchy. But where he's close enough to winning, maybe this is justified. I don't mind that terribly much, and he's hoping to imp a combo piece. So we have three wraparounds we can draw that are good for us, but odds of finding ice are not that great with the Raven already in the bin. Look at him, just a last click run, like a champ. He can't even get it through though, he doesn't have a parasite or anything. Oh, that shows up a bit late to the party. Uh, yeah, let's see what he wants to take for the bait. It doesn't have anything we really care about anyway, so we may have spent a click here. So if he's able to imp down our mid-seasons, he will actually be in great shape. He's back on five. Or if he has a Plascrete on his Peddler, that's also really good for him. We don't see anything in the bin that's relevant to this. There's no I've had worse or anything, so. Uh, I think you just gotta get in the HQ. Ooh, parasiting it? Big mistake. Big, big mistake here. Because he can't score after this kitty, so there's no point in spending money, spending cards. I guess he can run here and imp away a possible combo piece, but he's as likely to hit like a news team or he can't take. Still, if he does run here and imp something, then that's not the absolute worst line. But I think hitting HQ is way, way better. Like, if you look at it from our position, like, we really don't want to lose um, this Scorch or this mid seasons because we need both of these cards to kill him. No, he has this imp. He has the clone ship for a second imp. You gotta use that imp and just every turn hammer. Hammer down our deck. What did he use the peddler for? Maybe you don't have to. I guess you can. It's 
a good question. That's weird. I don't, I don't know what he's doing, but in any event. Yeah, he would have actually aimed to Scorch, which would, would be a pretty strong play. I've had worse. Yay, nay. No. He's going to live because he has the drug dealer, but now he has to draw four times. Actually, he should draw three times, maybe, and run with the Imp. Either of those is kind of okay. He could even Hail Mary in the R&D. There are points left. No, that response is not going to cut it. He would have run one in the R&D had he run. Whoops. So I think he had a lot, a lot, a lot of outs and should have handily won this game, but he managed to misplay it and lose it. This draw was not great for us. We didn't get... we, Yeah, I tried playing the Raven here just to save the Explodapalooza. It didn't succeed because he had the, the DDoS. But he had, he had a lot of ways to win. Uh, like, player skill is such a huge impact in this matchup. It is not just all about the card draw and what cards you have in your deck. Um, mm -mm. So in the end, this was not very good. This was definitely worse than Lucky Find. Don't like it. Thanks for watching, guys.